Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And it was another mild day across eastern Oklahoma as we saw temperatures during the afternoon hours topping out in the 50s, still above average, even though it was a cool day with that sunshine. What about the forecast for Christmas Day itself? Well, as we move on through Christmas, looks like we're going to see more in the way of mild weather. We're going to start off cool, temperatures around 40 degrees at 7 a.m. with sunshine. We'll see the clouds start to increase as we move on through the day. Noontime temperature in the upper 50s, and look at that high temperature on Christmas at this time, 64 degrees. But it looks like as we move into Christmas night and after, a good chance for rain and thunderstorms. Could even see some heavy amounts of rain at that time as we move into the upcoming weekend. I'll tell you how much rain looks like we could see this weekend coming up here in just a minute. First of all, we hit 60. 62 today, but that occurred about 3 o'clock this morning before a cold front moved into the area. Temperatures dropped from the low 60s through the overnight down to around 40 degrees this morning as that front passed on through. Then temperatures rebounded during the afternoon back into the low to mid 50s. So a nice afternoon out there with that sunshine. The averages 48 and 28. So you can tell those temperatures today above average, but we're still ways away from the records of 70 degrees and zero set back in 1989. Once again today, no rainfall in eastern Oklahoma. Not tracking any rain out there in eastern sections of the state. We did have a couple of sprinkles move across areas of southeastern Kansas over the last couple of hours. Most of that is winding down as well. Outside right now, the roads are dry. If you have any travel plans, no problems at all. We don't expect any rain around for tonight. 40 degrees, so you'll need a good jacket or a coat this evening. We're seeing calm winds are going to stay relatively light right on through the rest of the evening and overnight. So if you're heading on out, you're not going to have to worry about any additional wind chills. But with the clear skies and the light winds, that will allow these temperatures to drop off about another 6 to 8 degrees as we move through the overnight. Officially here in the city, we're at 40 degrees. You move outside the city, and most temperatures are dropped off into the upper 30s. We're at 37 in Skytook and Collinsville, 38 from Owasso over to Claremore. Broken Arrow, you're setting at 39 degrees and 40 degrees down Highway 97, Sand Springs down to Sepulpa. As we take a look at temperatures across eastern Oklahoma, most areas, 30s and lower 40s out there. Some of the valley areas are cooling off quickly. You notice Bartlesville around that sensor in the valley area is 28 degrees, 30 right now in Coffeeville. So we're seeing a few locations already below freezing. Ponca City at 30 degrees, Stillwater at 32. Still, though, at 44, you fall in. We're sitting at 37 degrees down in Stigler. Well, that cold front that moved through the area during the morning hours continuing to slowly push to our south and east in advance of it. Look at this mild weather across the eastern third of the country. Temperatures still in the 50s and 60s. 56 degrees right now at Cincinnati, 51 in Detroit. Behind that front, temperatures colder, but not that bad for this time of year. You notice up in Pierre right now, 22 degrees. Minneapolis at 31. Even though we saw a cool afternoon across eastern Oklahoma, those temperatures were still above average and will be even warmer as we move on in to tomorrow after a chilly start. Future track through the overnight into the morning hours tomorrow, mainly clear skies. But as we move through the day tomorrow, we'll see a slight increase in the clouds. So mostly sunny skies early, becoming partly cloudy as we move through the late morning into the afternoon hours. But the chance of rain through most of the evening only at about 10 to 20 percent. It's around the midnight hour, a little bit after that we're going to see a chance for showers and a few thunderstorms, especially east of the Tulsa area, far eastern Oklahoma, back into southeastern sections of the state. And it looks like that rainfall will shift off to the east fairly quickly. And you notice by the midday hour, on Wednesday, that rainfall already pushing off to the east. We'll see more sunshine as we move into our Wednesday. And for tomorrow, late evening into the overnight, there is a slight chance we could see a couple of strong to severe storms, mainly across southeast Oklahoma. It would just be hail and some high winds if we see any of that severe weather. Most thunderstorms across eastern Oklahoma tomorrow should stay below severe limits. And again, that's late tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. But as we head into the upcoming weekend from Christmas night all the way through the weekend, could see some heavy amounts of rainfall as another storm system moves in. You notice future track producing anywhere from about two to maybe as much as four inches of rainfall coming up this weekend. So although relatively dry between now and Christmas, looks like we're going to see heavy rain after that. Overnight tonight, we're not talking about rainfall, mainly clear skies and temperatures dropping into the upper 20s and lower 30s for tomorrow. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies, a breezy south wind developing. That's going to push temperatures into the low to mid 60s, running about 15 to 20 degrees above average for tomorrow afternoon. That 30% chance of late evening and overnight showers and storms from Tulsa off to the east. 51 for tomorrow night, 65 partly cloudy on Wednesday, staying in the 60s Thursday and Friday for Christmas. Then here comes that rain Saturday and Sunday, much colder by Sunday and Monday. Highs back in the 40s. But guys, wow, the next four or five days, 60s each and every afternoon. <laughs> no Just kidding. think of all the shopping we can get done and everything we plan. And before we leave for Christmas. I'm kind of worried about that because my wife isn't finished shopping, so she's got some great <laughs> weather to continue doing. That's that. right. All right. Thanks. Sam. All right.